Hey guys, and welcome back to Rames Games for more Terraria. As you can see between the episodes, I have messed with my basement a little bit, kind of changing up the storage system. I'm not going to explain it, it's more so it makes sense to me and no one else, so I could care less about actually explaining it. I am recording because there's things that I want to do that I don't want to do off camera. So, to start off with, I have four more life crystals. Because I don't want people asking where all of my sudden health came from. I was doing a quest uh, for another fish and hadn't considered it, but ended up catching the rockfish down in the cavern layer. There's a couple more things I have done. I need to go find a sky lake. And luckily, during all of this hubbub that happened, I have technically found some sky lakes, but I haven't explored them. I'll quickly show you on my map that I cannot possibly have explored them because the map uh, levels off right up here. I'll show you that the map changes as I get up there. And then I found this one just because I was extending this platform. This platform was mainly made for catching stars. It wasn't supposed to be a like true sky platform. It's actually lower than where the harpies spawn. And I've been smashing a couple shadow orbs down here. There was one here, one here, and one here where I lit the torches. I still have four more in this side of the corruption to destroy. Just trying to get a meteor to spawn because I kind of want the, the gun. And I did get one to spawn. It's out here. And I just haven't fought that yet. Just wanted, if I do more things off camera, I wanted people to know where I'm at with it. So it doesn't feel like, you know, the whole world has changed without people being part of the series. Also, while I was exploring, I found some Hermes boots, which are amazing. So now I can run a lot faster, which really helps with this whole sky platform thing. I can catch 15 to 20 stars a night. And depending on what grass I put up here depends on the biome that happens and depends on what I can grow. Because I can't be bothered to use actual pots. But yeah, I was just kind of using this. Obviously I can't jump very high or far because I only have the tsunami in a bottle, which I got from fishing. Or a crate or something. So. Real quick, I'll explain my method to doing this. I know that stars fall from the sky, right? And each one of these torches represents a star that I had caught. Of course, uh, unless I was already up here, the stars actually fell down here because this was so far away, which was fine. Uh, it's just a good place to farm, and also strange plants will spawn up here. But each one of these torches is where a star had spawned. So, using that, I would be able to tell that at some angle, it didn't hit anything above in the black area that I had yet to explore. I explored this when nothing had fallen right here because I thought, hey, this is a good candidate. It's 140 blocks-ish away from spawn, and that's where the first one can spawn. But there was no, no sky, uh, anything here. There's no island. And because all of these... Um, I just went and assumed there was nothing in the spot here, which so far remains to be true. And all the way down here. Now until uh, it is it is possible that stars will continue to fall, this could be too far away, perhaps, because this is where my actual sight line is if I jump. And this is where my sight line is uh, just regularly, I think. Maybe this is if I jump, I don't know. But using this long stretch of no stars, I just went ahead and started building a ramp. And if you don't already know, if you hit control and you use one of these platforms, you can actually just build this guy. So that's the thing you can do. But now I get to tear all this down because I'm an idiot. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and explore these sky islands. I have no idea what we're going to find. Hopefully we find a horseshoe. Oh, that'd be nice. And maybe Red Balloon. I no longer really have any use for like a Star Fury, so... 
if we miss out on that, that's fine. This also isn't perfect, so I'm going to have to do some, some fancy, fancy jumping. Luckily, we have um, a pretty gravityless situation. But as you can see, as I got up to the door, more of this, like right here, was sheer cut off on the map. So that's proof that I have not been up here. So we have a Jagged Lucky Horseshoe and a Sky Mill, which is fine. We also have potions and stuff. That's good. The Sky Mill, not something that's totally necessary to have by any means. And if you're falling, you can actually catch yourself with the grappling hook and negate all your fall damage. I did that because I jumped off my bridge and I had to land on here. <laughs> which is my arena for the Eye of Cthulhu, which I have yet to fight. I actually don't have a Dryad yet, so... And the map up here is being more revealed because I have the Tsunami. But let's go ahead and do the same thing we did a minute ago. Start about right here should be good. gonna be about perfect actually. In fact, it technically is perfect. I don't like destroying my sky islands. Whoop. I didn't hit space. Guys, I didn't jump. I forgot to jump. That one's going off, but that doesn't matter. Just grabbing this, opening this water here real quick. Alright, let's try that again. But I mean, so far we have the Lucky Horseshoe, which I could have swapped out in midair in order to have been not dead. Go ahead and just equip that so we don't have any more issues. Uh, these blocks I have on the outside actually make this really inconvenient to jump sometimes. Because as you can see, my I grapple that instead of anything else, my head gets stuck. So might change that up. I kind of just did it for the lights. The chandeliers in my basement are the burial forest. Uh, the burial chandeliers. They take wood from the snow biome, some ice torches, which you can use with regular torches, and some ice from the snow biome, or just underground anywhere in the snow biome. And a chain. And you can make a nice blue lit. Uh, this is the wrong one. Let's not make that mistake again, but now we have the horseshoe, so we're good. Hopefully I can get the balloon. So I think that was it on my list of things that I really wanted to do. Or at least wanted to make sure that I got done on camera. Uh, we can do a couple more quests. We need to find a sky lake, but we're not going to really get too lucky with that because neither of these are the lake. So yes, we actually got a red balloon and the horseshoe instead of getting like the star of fury, which is a sword that causes a star to come down, which is really useful when it comes to exploring underground caves because as long as you have the ground level hidden far enough, stars will actually just go through the map until it hits a ground piece like a cave that you have unexplored and it will shatter into a bunch of light thus exploring it on your map super good to have but we've also got some tungsten some rope some regeneration potions and a little bit of coinage which is fine I don't want the chests I honor the sanctity of something Apparently I already double jumped. So I'm going to go to the edge-ish of the map. The outer thirds of the map are where the hmm, what are they called? Goblin scouts perhaps? I think that's what they're called. Where they can spawn. The reason I want those guys to spawn Trying to hit him with a grappling hook. It doesn't work that way. I wish it did. 
But the reason I want them to spawn is because I need some tattered cloth so I can make the goblin banner, which will allow me to summon a goblin army. And once those have been defeated, you unlock the goblin tinker. He's to be found somewhere underground, all tied up and whatnot. Kind of hoping a, a goblin spawns somewhere. Sometimes they fall off the map. We still have the flippers, so we can afford to do stupid things like being at the bottom of the ocean. Which is really nice. I don't think without making some of these solid blocks that a goblin is going to spawn. So I need to be in like... I think there's a desert. We could always try to take on Skeletron Prime, but let's not forget that we're wearing, like, no armor. So that wouldn't be a good idea. I mean, it's something we could do if we felt like it, which I don't. I really don't. So I don't know, we kind of just have to get lucky. Found a lot of recall potions actually, so let's go ahead and right, it's the sky lake one. So I actually found these pretty far away. So the other one is more than likely over here somewhere. I don't know, for lack of anything better to do at night, let's go ahead and grab our lenses and see if we can't ma uh, fight the Cthulhu Meister. I think there was a... Sorry, allergies. I think there was a... Yeah, there's an altar right here. Which I think I just need the lenses for. And we can make a bunch of suspicious looking eyes. We can make eight of them. I thought that they were... Ten apiece, but I'm clearly mistaken. Just judging by the fact that I was able to make a couple. So this isn't going to go the best. In fact, it's probably just not going to go well at all. But we can still try it. I guess there's no reason not to. I do have a decent amount of health. But I really don't have a good weapon to attack with. Oh no, let's try it. It's gonna take a bit. I might even just use my hammer. So he's gonna lunge at us. Yeah, we really don't have a decent way of hitting this guy. Wait, anyway, we're doing it okay amount of damage, but it's still pretty mediocre. Probably okay to take a couple hits every now and again. Go ahead and heal before we get to the mid half of the fight. When I said it was okay to take a couple hits, I didn't quite mean as many. And yeah, sorry that I'm spamming the click button. This is where you get the majority of your damage in. Ouch, 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 ouch. Okay, he does a lot more damage then. It's probably good to not do that. Just want to get some really good angles on him. Force him to go to a place where we can reach. Alright, there we go. The Eye of Cthulhu has been defeated. Homage to my very first video on YouTube. 
a much better video in my opinion. This one, not that one. Jesus, no. So if you jump before you get there, you can often just come up here. There's no reason for us to put down these things anymore. But that's the way you build arenas. Makes it a lot, a lot easier. Just hold out a glow stick so you guys know where I'm at. Did he drop anything of use? No, just a bunch of ore, which is fine. I mean, it sells really good for money, so... We can't make anything out of it without the scales that... Shadow scales. From the... Mm, Eater of Worlds, there we go. Didn't mean to throw that, but alright. So yeah, you can see right here that I gathered a star and I'm technically right underneath the the island. Something like that happens because the star is coming at like 45 degree angles. So, you know, there's still chances that places I've marked might have a star above them. I'm really just showcasing the effectiveness of a thing. Because we fought the Eye of Cthulhu. And we have eight stars on us right now. Oh jeez. Unfortunately. I can't see anything, guys. There we go. These little wooden pillars with the torches on them are just where I used to have the ending. Just so I can see how many times I've extended it. I've used probably about a thousand blocks on this so far. I would have done a little bit of fishing, but unfortunately, <laughs> it's, you know, we don't have the Sky Island. Is there enough water anywhere to justify doing that? Not really, the only water is like right here. Maybe real quick what I can do is combine those two pools of water into one and see if we can't catch anything there. Guess I could do that. See if, even though it's a small pool, that we could turn it into something usable. That's Island 1. I'll probably just leave those stairs there. It's not the worst thing in the world. Although I might fix it so I can actually run up it onto the island. Like this one. That was dumb. What happened there? Did I just jump too early? Or what? Oh no. Excuse me? I don't know, I kind of... Kind of just glitched through it, to be honest. Would you stop it? Good reasons to not have... Torches on your invent. Oh my god, please. So I'm of course trying to drain this into a usable pool. I'm going to get the other water in here that's off to my right. And I'm going to try to get the rest of the water in too, but it's going to be really hard. Partially because of these stupid harpies, but also... So, I've got the... Extendo Grip equipped right now. An accessory I do not use often. And by that I mean ever. I 
And of course, I'm going to... I keep saying of course. You guys, you guys don't know me. I'm going to fix most of the clouds as well. I'm hugely into preserving like the look of things. So wherever there's all these backgrounds, I'm probably going to put clouds back. Except for when I dig out this hole to get the, the water. Which right now I just need to make a large enough hole to get all this in. If I thin it out too much, the water technically shrinks. So I need to make sure not to do that. Unfortunately, I can't see anything. Thanks to everything being made of clouds. So we're just going to dig up as far as we can. Which is an insane amount with this pickaxe and the... Alright, I'm sorry if everything was like way too dark for everyone. So we need this just wide enough that destroying the third block down isn't going to be a big deal. There we go. Of course, I'll make it harder for these harpies to get in uh, at some point. So now that we've done all that, it's technically a different day, so we're going to have completely different fishing quests. But I mean, we could still fish here for a couple seconds just to see how much we get out of it. Uh, how much junk, even. By the way, finding these harpies is not easy with nothing but a spear item. Ten. You healed me for ten. Ugh, great. So I need to get my clouds back on. You know what? We'll fix it at some point. Just let me... Guys, let me think. Jesus. I'll get back in here somehow. Anyways, let's go fishing. See, we can't grab from this. Yeah, it's a really small hole, so you can see that even with the enchanted night crawlers, is my first bait. Nothing is um biting. Which is a shame. It's a real problem, actually. Alright, so it's good to finish off one harpy at a time. And I keep thinking that I have extra jumps than I do for some reason. I can tell you why, because I don't. I need to dump all of that water. There we go, there's the 50 I need to heal for. And I needed these rain clouds so I could rebuild this a little bit. There we go. And I really just need a way to get this water in here. Because there's so little water inside this that there's no way it's ever going to be a viable mining spot. Or fishing. Fishing spot. We're gonna need like all this filled up with water. Of course, we wouldn't have this issue 
if we had an actual spot to fish in. That is a lot of harpies. It's going to become dangerous real quick. Fuck off. Really wish I had a different weapon. But it doesn't come from fishing, so we're not using it. Alright, alright, alright. We're going to have to put this tungsten back to... If nothing else, the tungsten. Oh, I died. Well, we are at 26 minutes. <laughs> if I get this done, I will go ahead and throw it in in a clip. Uh, right here, I guess. But that's going to do it, so thank you guys for watching. Remember to stay positive, have yourselves a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.